Welcome back to my channel everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael aka Dr. Cellini and I am in my sixth and final year of training in New York City. So before we start this video, please make sure you smash that like button. It really helps out the channel, it helps out the algorithm, it helps me get exposure, and it helps me be able to make amazing content like this. So hit the like button right now before we go any further and also subscribe because there's still a lot of people watching these videos that aren't subscribed and I see you. Today's video I've wanted to make for some time now. Finally sat down and wrote out all the stuff I wanted to talk about today. So as I just mentioned, I am in my last year of training as a physician in New York City, subspecializing in interventional radiology. And I'm going to kind of hop on this trend which everybody is doing across YouTube right now. And that is to talk about everything we spend in a week where we live according to our job and all that stuff. So I wrote out every single thing I spent in a week while on call in New York City. So let's get into it. So before I start this video, I wanted to do a quick disclaimer, and that is I live in New York City. New York City is notoriously very expensive. It's expensive to live here. It's expensive to work here. It's expensive to even leave your house. I always say you can't even leave your house in New York City without spending $100, and that pretty much holds true. So with that high cost of living in New York City, the salaries are also inflated in New York City. So you have to kind of take everything with a grain of salt because you'll probably be surprised about how expensive or how much I spent in New York City in one week. It's quite alarming even as I was putting this video together. So let's go ahead and uh, dive in. All right, so like I said, this is from the last week I was on call. This was the seven day straight on call video. I took everything I spent that week and wrote it all down. And this is a normal week on call for me. So here we go, starting with Monday. So Monday, I made a cup of coffee at home and I did a little math because I'm one of those people who doesn't like to pay for coffee in the morning every single day because that cost adds up pretty quickly, three or four dollars here or there. You end up spending $25, $30 a week just on coffee and coffee is pretty cheap. So I did a little calculation and I usually buy a one pound bag of ground coffee and it yields about 24 12 ounce cups. I usually drink about a cup a day. So if you do the math on that, each cup is about 42 cents. So I spent 42 cents on coffee Monday morning. And as far as breakfast goes, I usually don't eat breakfast when I'm on call because I'm doing procedures all day long. So what I usually do is like to fast until at least 11 or 12 if I can. Sometimes if I know I'm going into a long procedure, I'll have a protein bar, which is what I usually have for breakfast, and that is about $2. Next, I had lunch, which happens to be free because my hospital pays for it, which is one of the perks of being a fellow at a New York City hospital. And they don't pay for all of it. They give you like a stipend, like $500 I think twice a year. So you have $500 to spend over six months and then it refills the following six months. So the food at the hospital is surprisingly pretty good. So I take advantage of the free lunch. I always bring snacks with me as well. And I always have an afternoon snack around like three or 4 p.m. just to kind of get me through the hump, especially if I have to stay through 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. or even later. This comes from the grocery bill, which we usually do like a grocery run once a week, and I'll add that at the end of all this when it's all said and done. So I came home around 6 or so p.m. that night, I believe on Monday, and, and luckily I have the best mother-in-law in the entire world, and whenever I'm on call, she decides to make a home-cooked meal and bring it over to my house Monday or Tuesday night of my call week, because having a home-cooked meal after working 12 plus hours is the best thing ever, trust me. Well, a home-cooked meal is good anywhere or anytime, but when you're working this hard, it's even better. And my mother-in-law brought me over punya de paprika. Papri How do you say it? Punya de paprika. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it was delicious. And for those of you who don't know, that is Croatian for stuffed peppers. And it is my favorite dish of all time. She always makes it for me when I'm on call. So dinner was zero dollars. So if you remember from my video, I did get called in this night and I had to stay in the hospital till about midnight. And when you get called in, you have to take an Uber to the hospital. Again though, my Ubers are paid for by the hospital when I'm on call. So anytime after normal business hours, the hospital or my department will pay for my Uber while I'm on call for the week because a lot of times we're covering multiple different hospitals and this is no different. So it was $0 for a there and back trip in my Uber, which usually costs around $12, $15, depending on the time. Now on to Tuesday. Again, I had a 42 cent cup of coffee made at home. 
And then I had my normal breakfast protein bar after my first case, which is about $2. So on this day, I was actually so busy, I didn't even eat lunch. So I ended up having my late afternoon snack down in the cafeteria, which was again, free. I had stuffed peppers again for dinner, which was also $0. And then I got called in that night at about, what, 12 or 1 a.m. and Ubered there and back to the hospital, which was around almost $30 actually. And it was zero dollars for me though. Now on to Wednesday. So Wednesday morning I got only a few hours of sleep since I got called in overnight and I ended up paying for my own Uber to go to work that morning and it cost me $12.85 and I usually don't do this. I don't like to take Ubers to work unless it's like a blizzard outside but I was so tired and honestly I didn't feel like walking like 20 or 25 minutes. I just, I couldn't, I didn't have it in me. I only got a few hours sleep, so sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And they don't pay for Ubers during normal working hours, so I had to foot the bill for this one. But best $12.85 I ever spent. So I also spoiled myself a little bit here. Because I was so tired, I ended up having to sleep in a little bit till like eight or nine and had someone cover for me. So didn't have time to make myself coffee. I was rushing to the hospital and I ended up getting a very large Venti iced coffee, which ran me $3.55. Now. I carried on this treat session throughout the breakfast now because I went and did my first case and then it was about 11 a.m. The lunch wasn't being served at the cafeteria yet, so went outside and grabbed an omelet at a local restaurant. And that was $8.78. I was racking up the bill on this day, but this is what happens when you're on call and you're tired. You just want fast, easy, convenience, and you pay for it all. So then I had no lunch because I had such a large late breakfast and I ended up having my protein bar at about three or 4 p.m. which was $2. Now at this point, this is Wednesday night and all the stuffed peppers were gone. My wife and I both ate them over the last two days, but with those stuffed peppers, we also got a whole bunch of chicken cutlets and also courtesy of my mother-in-law and we had those for dinner. So that cost us $0. Now on to Thursday, we had 42 cent coffee in the morning $2 protein bar for breakfast. I had the normal lunch, which was free at the hospital, had the afternoon snack, which we'll go over at the end of the video. And then we had no dinner left after that and Andrana works late on some of these days throughout the week and we didn't have time to make anything. So we ordered salads for the both of us, which costs about $33.14 in New York City. That is order from an app delivered to my door. So for those of you who say, how could you spend that much money on a salad? I didn't really have to do anything. It just came to my door and I just sat here. So when you're on call, I don't really have time to run around and like look for restaurants. I just order and hopefully it gets here and I don't get called in in the meantime. So money well spent. And I actually didn't get called in this night, but I did order some of my hair product on Amazon two day shipping, which was $28. Now off to Friday now, I had a 42 cent coffee in the morning. And on this day, it was when the new iPhone came out. And if you saw my prior iPhone, it was all shattered and this is the new iPhone 12 Max Pro or 12 Pro Max, whatever it is. And I ended up paying $124.07 for this and that included the wireless charger, which I still haven't received yet. And since I cracked my last phone, the very first purchase I made after ordering this phone was a clear case for this phone because I didn't want to have the same thing happen. So that was $21.50. This is a speaking case, by the way. I love it. Clear shows the back. It's my favorite. Then I had a $2 protein bar for breakfast, a free lunch, the normal afternoon snack. And then I had a salad that evening, but just for myself that time because Andriana was out with her friends and it was $15.38. Now on to Saturday morning. Our very favorite thing to do on Saturday morning is wake up and have coffee if I'm not in the hospital. And that's exactly what I did. So we had a 42 cent coffee. So Andriana and I made breakfast this morning because I didn't have to go into the hospital or didn't get called in. And then we had some of her cousins and friends over for chili night. So that was our dinner for the evening. Also factored into the grocery bill at the end of this video. The one thing I didn't mention is that I was hoping I wasn't going to get called in. So I made a quick haircut appointment and that was $59. Before you guys say you can get a haircut for $10 or whatever, if you want a good haircut in New York City, you're gonna pay 40 to $50 for it. Also, I've been going to this guy for like 10 years and I trust him and honestly, I'll pay whatever he charges. So this brings us to Sunday. So Sunday we had a 42 cent coffee yet again. I did not get called in the hospital this morning either. So Andrea and I went out for bagels. We got a bagel with egg, turkey, cheese, avocado, and it was $23 for two of those. And since we were just roaming around the city waiting to get called in, because I knew it was inevitable, my mother-in-law came in and we actually walked around the city for a little bit and we got three coffees which was $12.38. I did get called in that afternoon just after that 
but I didn't have to do one in the hospital, but then I got called in later that night and had to do one at midnight. And before I got called in, I had leftover chili from the night before, which again, factored into the grocery bill, which we're about to get into. So the total of my weekly life expenses is about $1,091.48, which is probably pretty alarming to some of y'all, including myself. All right, so those are my weekly expenses. Now let's get into the kind of life expenses, and then we'll go into my business expenses as well, because these are all kind of separate. So in terms of life expenses, we have to pay for rent, we have to pay for utilities, we have to pay for my phone bills. So what I did was I just summed all those up and divided it by three, and that totals to about $922 per week. And again, before you all freak out, this is Manhattan. Real estate is very expensive here. The good thing is I don't have a car, so I don't have to pay for a car insurance or anything like that, but I do still have to pay for health insurance, which again, the benefits of being a physician, working at a very good hospital that covers all this stuff. It is about $5 every paycheck to cover myself and Andriana. So that's $2.50 a week to have full coverage. Can't beat that. In terms of our grocery bill, uh, we go shopping about once every week, usually on the weekends, and it totals to about $150 every week. We also pay about $10 a week for laundry. We don't have a washer and dryer in our unit, so we have to use a laundry service downstairs. Also pay for a few subscription services, such as Spotify, which is about $3.74 a week, and Netflix, which is about $3.24 a week. So now we have to get into my weekly business expenses, and there aren't many of them weekly because I feel like some of these large expenditures come on all of a sudden, like maybe I'll need a new laptop or maybe I'll need a new camera or whatnot. But one thing that is consistent is I pay $1.24 a week for Lightroom. For those of you who don't know what Lightroom is, it is an application for photography editing. I use it for Instagram and all that stuff. I also pay a cloud storage fee of about 50 cents per week. And also recently I started paying for editors to edit my videos. I just don't have the time anymore to keep up with the content and also edit the videos as well. Editing can take like five to 10 hours sometimes and I don't even have five to 10 hours extra, much less 20 hours extra, which would take me to edit two videos every single week. So I've had to outsource that. I still edit some of my videos occasionally when I have time or when I want to because I do enjoy it, but I've started to have to pay for editors because you know, working 80 to 100 hours a week doesn't allow me too much time to edit my own video. So the cost of editing is around $312 a week. Now, these expenses are write-offs. So at the end of the year, I can write these off in my taxes. So it is a little artificially inflated here, but the total business expenses per week are around $313.74. So that brings us a great Grand total for all my weekly expenses in New York City as a physician are $1,756.97. Now, when I first saw that number, I was pretty shocked by it because I really honestly had no idea I was spending that kind of money every single week. So although this may seem like a lot of money for one person, it's actually a little inflated because keep in mind, I also have a wife working full-time as a physician assistant who is contributing a significant amount to these expenses as well. So it doesn't all come out of my own paycheck. It all comes from one bank account and we contribute equally with the exception of my business expenses, which only comes from my account. And the funny thing with this is this is a week where I am on call. So I wasn't going out, I wasn't going to restaurants, I wasn't spending money on cocktails at restaurants and running up expensive bills around New York City. I was literally just going to work and back and thankfully my mother-in-law provided dinner for me every single night. So that was a way for me to keep my expenses down this week, although it doesn't really seem that way based on these numbers. So I hope this provided some insight on how I live as a physician in training in New York City. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. If you have any questions about living in New York City or living in New York City as a resident physician, let me know as well. Otherwise, make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, which I started to post quite a bit on there. And I'll see you all on the next video.